Welcome to Technical Studies. An isometric drawing is a three-dimensional presentation of the piping. In this video, I will show you how to read an isometric drawing and how to fabricate a piping spool. For related free documents, please check in the description. According to the drawing, the piping comes up and go to the south direction, goes up and then turn to the east direction. Let us fabricate this spool on the ground. Look at the material list. Item number one is a pipe. The size is six inches. What is BE? BE means bevel end. Pipe schedule is 40. API 5L pipes are available in welded and seamless types according to their manufacturing methods. This pipe is welded type. Galvanization will be done after completing the fabrication of the spool. Item number two is a large radius elbow. The schedule is 40 and with bevel ends and is seamless. Note down the quantity. Item number three is class 150, weld neck, raise face flange. Let us cut the pipe. The length of the pipe, from elbow center to elbow center, is 8,372 millimeters. There are two elbows on this line. We need to subtract two elbow centers from the overall length of the spool. Since this is a long radius elbow, and the size is 6 inches, the elbow center of one elbow is 229 millimeters. Subtract two elbow centers, and the weld root gap from 8372. In general WPS, the root gap is shown as 2 to 3 millimeters. Let us assume the root gap is 3 millimeters. Then, the actual length of the pipe is equals the total length of the spool minus, two elbow centers plus, two root gaps. By applying the calculations, the length of the pipe is 7908 millimeters. Clean the bevel face of the pipes and the fittings. Fit up the elbows in a suitable position. I will recommend doing the fit up in the horizontal position. Please watch the detailed fit-up tutorials if you have any doubts. Links are given in the description. Fit up the pipe that goes up and the elbow to the east direction. Since fitting a flange in this position is easy, fit up the flange that faces the direction of the east. Rotate the spool, downwards as shown, and fit up the other flange. Thank you for watching. Please comment.